Kristen? What are you doing here? Um, I didn't realize I'd gone so far. My mind was spinning, I needed a walk, so I just followed the moon. She's comforting, isn't she? I've always thought that. Ever since I was a little girl. I'll wager you were a pensive child who thought too much for her own good. I still do. So do you. Tonight you were thinking of Margaret. Yes. I think about her too. I try to forgive her. The hell of it is I think I have. Then what is it? She gave me back my wedding ring. But she's alive, somewhere. Just when I thought there was some kind of life for me. I find I'm still a married man. ready? Oh, honey, he's left already. Before we got up, I reckon. But we always walk to school together. Well, he goes early now to work on his music. To be with her. That's all he ever thinks about. Who? Teacher. But he's wrong about her. She's a dirty sinner. She deserves to burn in hell. Why, Bessie Coburn, someone should wash your mouth out with soap. You ought to be ashamed. Bessie! Stop right there, John Spencer. What's going on here? Nothing. Don't lie to me, boy. You're sneaking around like a thief. Bessie's crying her eyes out. I ain't gonna marry Bessie, that's all. Oh, well, you mean y'all decided to wait. Well, now, I think that's good. I mean, I ain't gonna marry her, ever. I know we had us an understanding, and I did love her. But I don't know more. I care for someone else now. Is this about Rob Allen? When Bessie was sweet on him last fall, are you trying to pay her back? That don't got nothing to do with it. Love ain't all flowers and moonlight, John. Sometimes it's tears and hurtful words and trying to hurt someone else the way they've hurt you. I gotta go now, Mama. I'm late for school. Hello? Cut a gap mission. No, no, Dr. McNeil is not here. He does not reside here. Yes, I believe I could locate him. Is it Margaret? Dear God. Good morning. Is Christy bit? Oh, well, she did me a kindness. I wanted to thank her. Good. I was riding to fetch you. There's been an accident. Train derailed north of El Pano. They need doctors and nurses badly. Please tell Miss Huddleston and hold us in your prayers until our return. Jack, can you for today, ma'am? Sweep up, clean the windows. No, junk. idea that you stay after school so much. 
We have to talk about what you said to me the other day. Ain't nothing to talk about. I know how I feel. I'm flattered. And I think the world of you. But you are my student. And there could never be anything between us. Teacher, I got a bone to pick with you. You leave John alone. You don't care for him. You're just playing with his feelings. Be quiet, Bessie. You don't know nothing. John. I know she's got her hooks in you, John Spencer. And you're so cow-eyed, you can't see she's making a first-class fool of you. You're the fool. You keep running after someone who don't care for you, who don't want you. You don't love me no more. Maybe I never did. I'll see you tomorrow, ma'am. Bessie, he does not mean that. He does he love you. He from me. Bessie, please listen to me. I did nothing. You're going to be sorry. I'll make you sorry if it's the last thing I do. I'd been trying so hard not to hurt John's feelings that I never even thought about Bessie's. I had to make things right, but I didn't know how. Fairlight was the one person who might be able to help. But early the next morning when I got to the Spencer cabin, she wasn't there. Hello, Lulu. Hello, Miss Christie. Hello, John. Is your mother here? No, ma'am. She's out collecting grains and daddy's off hunting. Don't know when they'll be back. I came to ask her advice. I know you don't want to talk about Bessie, but we have to. She was crying when she left us today, John. So? You can't do that to her. She did the same thing to me. Yeah, buddy. She, she doesn't care about me. She does care about you. She wouldn't have reacted that way. She didn't. Come here, bunny. Scott, now. Breathe. Breathe with me. Breathe. Okay. Breathe. How is she? Worse by the minute. Let's see. John, I want you to run and gather up all the milfoil and bee balm you can and bring it back here. And Willowbark, if you can find some. Come here, little one. Let's sit you up here. Ease up your breathing some. What are the flowers for? The millifoil and the bee balm will make a poultice dry out the poison. Willowbark eases the pain. But don't you worry, little one. We're not going to let anything happen to you. Christy, I'm going to need about the sharpest knife you can find. This isn't gonna hurt unless you move. So you need to be perfectly still. You hear? Right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide this knife across your skin so that the stingers come out without releasing any more of the poison. Right. 